stick. Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. The wind just picked up, so I hope you can hear me okay. Hold on. Yep, go get your stick. Get your stick. <laughs> there they go. The fall colors have been so phenomenal this year. And so Randy and I took a ride up to two of the most popular color destinations here in the Cumaná and in the Upper Peninsula, for that matter. We're gonna take you there today. But first, I just wanted to show you around our property and how beautiful the colors are here. Come on, Rams, we're going this way, honey. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our channel. I'm Lisa, and before Randy and I bring you on this captivating fall color tour, we are going to show you just how radiant the colors are right here behind our house and in our yard. The phenomenal colors of the leaves have transcended from the deep greens of lovely summer to the delightful and vibrant colors of yellows, golds, oranges, and crimson reds, the colors of the harvest season. The brisk fall air carries the aromatic smells of ripe apples and earthy, crisp, sunburnt leaves. <laughs> This section of US 41 has been honored with the title of Michigan's first heritage route. For 11 miles, the road twists and winds through the dense forest with the trees sometimes only feet from the road. The trees create a beautiful canopy or tunnel of trees that overhang the road. This is the northernmost part of US 41, and it brings us to the northernmost town in Michigan, which is Copper Harbor. We didn't tour Copper Harbor this time as we wanted to get right to Brockway Mountain. Brockway Mountain Drive has consistently been ranked as one of the top destinations for scenic drives in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There are many trailheads along the way up the mountain for hiking and mountain biking. The scenic Brockway Mountain Drive runs along the Keweenaw Fault for nine and a half miles. The Keweenaw and Brockway Mountain were formed from volcanic lava flow. Brockway Mountain is 1,320 feet high and 720 feet from the sea level of Lake Superior. Standing on this side of the mountain, there's a stunning view of the vast wilderness below. Just take a look at how Mother Nature has begun painting the landscape. When I look at these cliffs, I always see the peaceful and friendly faces of our Native American ancestors. Maybe if we listen close, we can hear the whispers of their voices. <laughs> their, their pasties are meant to be eaten. What's better than having them? Mohawk Super Rep Pasty up on Brockway Mountain. It's the best. Look at the best. And here's how you eat a pasty. Mmm. <laughs> 
On this side of the mountain, there's a panoramic view of Lake Superior, the big lake they call Gichigumi. At almost any given time, you will see a passing freighter in the distance. The backside of the mountain is just as beautiful and is part of the Brockway Mountain Sanctuary. This drive will bring us to M26 or Lakeshore Drive. Now we're going to head to Eagle Harbor where we're going to take a short walking trail to the shoreline. You'll notice when we're near the shore, the colors aren't near as bright because it's always warmer near the shore and it takes more time for those colors to turn. Chrysocolla, oh nice, I see it. The shoreline here is made of very rugged and abrasive basalt, or otherwise known as ancient lava flow. Some of the oldest rocks in the world can be found right here near the shores of Lake Superior. Not to mention, this place is a candy store for the geologists. It makes sense to water ski now, as by the end of the summer, it's when the water is the warmest. The unique history of Lake Superior is one that speaks of fire and ice. It is also a history about the freighters that have sailed the big lake they call Gichigumi. We drove through the serene little town of Eagle Harbor, which sits on the shores of Lake Superior. In the summertime, the beach right here is filled with so many people enjoying the sun and water. Next, we will be taking you to Great Sand Bay. The road brings us high above Great Sand Bay for a panoramic view of Lake Superior. We chose the highest point to pull off so that you could see how beautiful this view is. <laughs> Did you close the sunroof? Not the rain, the rain. The rain? Yes, I Did you, it. okay. Today has been dreary and the sky has been hazy and misty, so it's hard to see the freighter way out in the distance. The sound of the water and the waves is so comforting.
it to the top. Okay, what's really funny is Randy forgot the case all the way at the bottom. He's going to go all the way back down. Count those steps on the way back up. Oh, you didn't count them all? Almost 60 and still can do it like I'm almost 60. Holy fuck. You did it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I guess I was gonna leave that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching our video. Your presence here on our channel means the world to us. And wherever you are in the world, we wish you peace and happiness. We will see you again in our next video. Bye for now.